Hi guys, Mr. Owens here with a real quick video uh, about what the uh, church looked like in Middle Ages Europe, what religion looked like. Okay, you guys are going to read about that today. I just wanted to uh, <clears throat> emphasize, though, that remember here on the left we learned about the different uh, rankings in, in in feudalism in Europe during the Middle Ages. Bottom, we had serfs, you know, who were out farming the fields. Okay, the top, we had the king. Just like we have that kind of ranking system in feudal society in Europe, we also have that in the church. Okay, at the top is is the uh, position of the pope, and actually, if you uh, uh, practice Catholicism, uh, or part, or if you're a part of the Roman Catholic Church, uh, this this still is around today. Okay, top you have the Pope, kind of the um, what would be considered maybe like the nobles of the church, the archbishops and the bishops. Okay, and then below that, the monks and the village priests. Those are the people you have in the church who are who there are the most of. And they're the people who are going to interact with those serfs on a daily basis. Okay. Remember when we made the manor drawing, there was a church on the manor. Okay. That's usually the village priest who is, who is the head of that church, that small church. But then if you look at Roman Catholicism as a whole, at the top of it is the Pope, who was very powerful during the Middle Ages. You guys will learn about how powerful the Pope was uh, tomorrow.